Happy Easter, YouTube. Thomas L. here. It's Sunday. That means it's time for another week of box office recap. Where, of course, I talk about the uh, films in, uh, in this weekend's box office and the numbers and all that. So, that being said, here is what's in, the, um, in this weekend's box office. All right, coming in at the number fifth spot is Letta, which which came in at you know number fifth spot with a uh, estimate of eight point forty five million for a domestic, come just shy of thirty million. The film also added another one point four million internationally over for an overseas come that. Now stands at 4.8 million and a worldwide tally top bank 34 million. I mean, a movie that is executive produced by a 14 year old is making tons of money. I mean, I kind of already mentioned this last week, but it is really, I mean, it's embarrassing to know that a film that's executive produced by a 14 year old actually ended up being a better movie and making more money than an already comic book film like Hellboy. That is just embarrassing. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. Alright, coming in at the number four spot is Captain Marvel, which over this week um, delivered an estimated of 9.1 million for a domestic come that now tops 400 million. The film is now the 34th film to ever top the figure domestic and the 7th film to reach the that mark in the MCU. The film also added another 6.5 million this weekend overseas for an inter international come up that now stands at 989 I 689.5 million. Sorry about that. And a global tally that is now the 1.089 billion. Holy cow! I mean, the, of course I've seen the movie uh, twice. I might actually see it again for um the third like the third time this week because you know to get ready to get even more um ready for uh, Endgame, which comes out this week. But I mean, makes sense that uh. Captain Marvel is going to be strong until uh, the week of Endgame coming out, because, I mean, you know, this, it, of course, uh, you know, return to uh, the top five because of the weekend that, because, uh, you know, Endgame comes out and lots of people are probably definitely checking out Captain Marvel more now because, you know, to get, you know, to get ready for uh, when Endgame comes out. So, kudos to Captain Marvel. I mean... To be honest, I, I did I did not expect this movie to be, be like to be that much of a hit. I mean, I expected it to be a hit, but I did not expect this much. Now, but hey, Captain Marvel is an awesome movie and well deserving. So with that, anyway, all right, coming in at the number third spot is pretty much the is uh the movie Breakthrough, which is pretty much the uh first Fox and Disney movie. Um, to come out. Anyway, Breakthrough delivered an estimated 11.1 million for the three day and 14.6 million over the five day. I mean, well deserved. You know, I I saw uh, I saw Breakthrough on Thursday. What an amazing movie! It's really inspirational. You know, Chrissy Metz was just terrific in this movie. The kid from uh, One Day at a Time, he yeah, he was in the good in this. And fake based movies, you know, say what you want about them, they do really well in the box office. Now, I mean, the God's Not Dead movies do pretty well, and I mean, not all of them do bunkers like the Ben Hur remake and and Samson, but most fake based movies like this really are smash hits and. I mean, heck, that movie Unplanned, you know, ended up being in the top five uh, of the box office. So, hey, I mean, audience do like going, you know, checking these type of movies out. And, you know, say what you want about faith-based movies. They do have an audience in us. So. But if you guys still haven't seen Breakthrough, like, even if you're not into of these faith-based movies, I think you'll appreciate uh, Breakthrough. Alright, coming in at the number two spot is Shazam, 
which made an estimated of 121 million, and internationally the film also added another 22 million this weekend. And now the film, um, now the film's worldwide uh, gross tops 322 million. I mean, the movie didn't really do that bonkers when it first got released, but I think because of word of mouth, you know, a lot, like, lots of people are, you know, ending up checking this out, and I'm glad to see Shazam doing well. It's it's a terrific movie, and you know, I've I seen it, like, twice already, and I really enjoyed it. So, if you guys still haven't seen Shazam, it's still in theaters. Highly recommend it. And also, the movie didn't make, like, the, the movie did not cost a whole lot to make, so... It's gonna be profitable, and you know, so anyway. Now the n- number one film of this weekend box office to actually beat it out to them is *The Curse of La Llorona*, which I I just saw the movie and kind of disappointed by it to be honest with you. But anyway, the uh the film actually pretty much beat it out uh. Shazam, which makes sense, because, I mean, Shazam wasn't going to be the number one uh, film in the box office three weeks in a row. But anyway, uh, The Curse of La Llorona delivered an estimated $26.5 million well ahead of expectations. I mean, this movie is, of course, set in the Conjuring universe, and the Conjuring movies have... They've had done bunkers in the box office. Like, just go all the way back to the, um, the first Conjuring. Let me show that this before I went live. The first Conjuring, you know, that movie made three hundred nineteen point five million. Then there was, of course, the Conjuring two that made three hundred twenty point four million. The Nun is probably the highest grossing of the bunch. That made three hundred sixty five point six million. And it's being and it's being released by uh it was just released by New Line and Warner Brothers and their horror movies have done pretty bonkers at the box office like where they talk about it which made tons of money I'm pretty sure it chapter two is going to be a real big hit and these movies don't cost a whole lot to make like good thing about these Conjuring movies like let's say if there is a Conjuring movie that comes out and it does not do, like it over like under and the Conjuring um, based movie underperforms. They could still do another one because they don't, like, these movies don't cost a whole lot to make, and, like, all the uh, films in the franchise have made bundles in the box office. So, if, if like, let's say if Annabelle uh, Comes Home comes out and it ends up, you know, not doing well in the box office, they'll still be able to make uh, more Conjuring films. I mean, the Conjuring movies are here to stay, so. And, like I said, I did not like the movie uh, Curse of La Llorona or The Nun, but, hey, They've had other good uh, Conjuring films, so, eh. but also, there's also another movie that got released this week, which was Penguins. Now, Penguins really underperformed. Let me, alright. Penguins made, pretty much made a uh, estimated of 2.5 million over the three day uh, weekend cuz it opened on Wednesday and yeah i mean this movie um, i like the movie but and the reviews were pretty decent so i'm kind of surprised that uh, penguins didn't do so well in the box office fiancia cuz i mean these doesn't nature movies they've done pretty well in the box office i mean like I mean, I think the last one that got released was Pandas, and that made, yeah, Pandas, you know, the film uh, Pandas, uh, which was the last um, film that got released, made like uh, five, like, I can't really find the box office thing here, but anyway, the movie Penguins was Penguins. The movie Pandas was a pretty big hit, and let me pull up Disney Nature's box office uh, stuff. Disney Nature box office. Hmm. 
Yeah, Penguins is pretty much the lowest grossing uh, film from the Disney nature uh, brand, which is disappointing, really, because the movie was pretty decent, and I was, I'm was i kind of surprised that the film didn't do so well, because, I mean, like I said, these Disney nature movies do well, they have an audience, and Earth Day is, I believe, Monday, if I'm not mistaken, so it's a shame that it didn't do so well, but, hey, I mean, I guess not every movie's going to be a smash hit, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me lead you to you guys. What, what are your thoughts on this weekend's box office numbers? Drop the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications.